Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're working on the 68 F250 Camper Special Crown Vic Swap. So uh, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm ready to start cutting this thing up. I haven't really taken anything apart yet. So I'm just going to see how much I can cut without having to unbolt anything. Like the seat's still in it, dash still in it. So we're just going to start cutting on this. See how far we can get and then once we get the floor and everything removed out of this, then we'll move on to the Crown Vic, start cutting it up. So I'm gonna get to work. Took us a little bit, but got it all cut up, left the dash in. I just cut a bunch of stuff, hacked a bunch of stuff. This bracket's bolted to the dash, steering column. There was a wiper bracket bolted here. And the heater box was connected to the side over there, but got it out. I still got some trimming to do, clean it up now. But we got her. I'm going to trim up back here some more. I don't know how far I'm going to cut back yet. But probably have to trim some of this up. Trim around the front. And get this dash out of here. I don't know if we're going to leave this dash. Or use the Crown Vic dash. I'm not really sure. We kind of. Oh wow. Light blue. Bent it. We kind of dented it up a little bit and broke the little trailer brake thing that I thought was cool. So anyways, but we didn't really hurt anything else. So got it off in one piece. My boys helped me lift it back. My youngins had those two on one side, me on the other. So now I went through um, four Sawzall blades, broke four. I had two that were carbide tip. And uh, like a diamond tip grinding wheel. Yeah, went through that too. I, I burnt that up in like five minutes. I was like, are you kidding me? Those things aren't cheap. So anyways, 
We're going to start on the Crown Vic now. i got to just run and go get some more blades and cut off wheels, and we'll get started on the Crown Vic. All right, so I'm getting started on the Crown Vic today. Uh, I ran out of daylight last night, so getting all the wiring out of the back, and then I will start cutting. So, yeah, just got to get the rest of this wiring moved up. All right, so I pretty much got all the wiring out of the way except for the fuel pump wiring. But, uh, so I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna cut this somewhere. You wanna try to get it, I've never done this, but you wanna try to get it as close to the dash as you can, but I think I'll start up higher. Cut here, I'll come down here to the B pillar, cut across here, and then what I'll do is cut this back seat support out and make a little cut so I can get my wiring through, get that up out of the way. And then you want to follow this seam up, cut all the way up through this seam, come back, follow the seam. You want to come down and come around this hump right here and then come across. And you don't want to cut this seam because the mounts for the gas tank come up under this lip right here. So I'll come back and cut a little ways and then I'll trim wherever I need to. So yeah, I'm gonna start cutting on this thing. So, once you get to here, you come down around, you want to stay close to this lip on the inside of it, but underneath here, there's a little brace. Goes all the way across. Can't see, but anyway, so I took the grinder to all this. Now I'm going to take the Sawzall and cut that brace. Crazy what a fresh blade will do. How much better it cuts. I think there's a couple more little spots right up in here that I need to get with the grinder. anyone to help you this is how you want to do it just put it all in your back okay all right take two use all your back still something holding on that corner Take four, take three. <laughs>
not high enough. In the back. Take four. Come on. Look at the battery. It still runs. According to my calculations, this car should still run. But it doesn't. Ah, oh, poop. Those two wires I cut must go. Oh, we got grounds. That's why. According to your calculations, you were wrong. It's probably all the ground wire, whatever that is. Put it back in. All right, give me a minute. According to my new calculations, this should still run. Let's try again. All right. According to my new <laughs> latest and greatest calculations, this car should still run. Try number three. <laughs> And there is the body cut off. I gotta pull the door still. We'll uh, pull the front doors next. Get this glass out of here probably. And then uh, there's only one more thing to do before we end this video. And that's take this hot rod for a drive. Oh yeah. You all know what time it is. It's time to take this bad boy for a drive. The weight on the back, it just spins. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be way fast. It's definitely rougher riding because uh, there's no weight on the suspension. Yeah.
sounds crazy. I was cutting with a grinder all day and all last night, and I didn't wear safety glasses, but I'll put glasses on to drive the car. Letting Caden do his first ever burnout. Are you ready, Caden? Just keep your foot on the brake, give it a little bit of gas, so it'll start spinning, then let off the brake and floor it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Caden, attempt number two. That was weak sauce. Hold the brake some, hold the brake longer. It'll just chirp him in every gear. Beautiful day to be driving a convertible. Ah! We got a bunch of trimming to do on uh, both cars, uh, this and the Ford, and then we can get the Ford put, the Ford cab set down on this. I don't know if we're going to do it tonight. There's a lot of work to do. I don't know. We might. We'll see. It'd be nice to see what that cab looks like on this body, but turn around right here or something. I don't know. We'll see. It is getting kind of late. The sun's sort of going down. So don't be doing burnouts with people. Do Back up. Stop, stop, stop. Back up. So anyways, we're going to go drive this around a little more and then see how we feel when we get back. See if we want to cut some more. See if... Also, I'm not sure if Caden and I are strong enough. We might need another person to, uh, to get that cab set on here. Get it lifted up high enough. So anyways, hit it.
I think that's going to do it for this video, this episode of Dirty Curdy Customs. Um, we are going to continue to work on this. The next episode, we will try to drop the cab on, do some more trimming, try to drop the cab on. We also have some more videos of the Super coming, so if you guys like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I hope you enjoyed.